Hello friends, welcome to beautiful Edson Chapel and Happy New Year. I'm here in Edson Chapel because today our Sunday School lesson is about Jesus's baptism. And I want to talk to you just a little bit about our tradition here at Plymouth Church. Now, some of you may have been baptized when you were babies, so you don't remember it. Others of you may not be baptized just yet, and that's okay. And then still others will choose to make that decision for baptism when they're adults, and that's okay too. Here at Plymouth, when we baptize, we baptize by sprinkling. And so the pastor will have uh, the font here, and this is the bowl representing the baptismal font, and will do baptize you. Sometimes they'll do a cross. Sometimes it's just a sprinkling of the water in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then other faith traditions will baptize you by totally putting your body down in water and pulling you up again. Today we're going to hear a story about John the Baptist who baptizes Jesus in that way. And when you put him all the way down in the water and pull him up again, that's called immersion. So baptism by immersion. So I want you to listen carefully to this story that is based upon the gospel according to Mark chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. So let us begin. But first, I want you to listen carefully. Come, let us remember God's love poured out over all creation and us. And then let us remember the light of God's love that brought Jesus into our world. And to represent that, we're going to light a candle. Let's see if I can get it done here. There we go. Water and light. And remember, friends, God's love shines out just like this light for you and me. Hear now the story of John the baptizer as he baptizes Jesus. You know, some people thought that John the Baptist was weird. He wore clothes made from the hair of camels. He ate insects and wild honey. And not only that, John often sounded angry, like he was mad. And sometimes he actually yelled at the people. But you know what? John had a very important job to do. God wanted John to get the people ready for the Messiah, the one who would tell people about God's love. We know that Messiah to be Jesus. So get ready, get ready, shouted John. If you have done wrong things, tell God that you are sorry and live in God's way. Now, what do you mean? The people kept asking John. And John said it this way. Listen, if you have two coats, share one with someone who doesn't have any. Be honest, that means tell the truth, and be kind to others, and don't be greedy. Remember, sharing is caring. Many people, they came to John and they said, oh, we are sorry for the bad things that we have done, and we want to live in God's way. And then John would baptize them in the River Jordan. 
John dipped them under the water for just a moment, and then he lifted them up again. I feel washed clean, they would say. I feel clean inside. But John cautioned, he said, I, I baptize you with water. But someone is coming who will baptize with something much better. You will be baptized by God's spirit. Wow, Jesus is going to bring into the world God's spirit. So one day, Jesus, he came to hear what John was saying. And he walked up to John and he said, I want you to baptize me. Now, if you remember from our Bible stories, John the Baptist and Jesus were cousins born six months apart. So John, he said, no, no, no. You should baptize me instead because John knew already who Jesus was. No, John, God wants you to baptize me is what Jesus said to his cousin. And then Jesus and John and all the people around watched. John said a prayer and then he dipped Jesus under the water and lifted Jesus up again. Now Jesus and all the people, they felt God's love in a very special way. And Jesus, Jesus was sure that he heard God's voice saying, this is my child, I love him. Jesus knew that God wanted him to tell people all about God, and he knew he had to show people how to live in God's way. But he also knew it would be very hard to do. Living in God's way is not easy, my friends. So Jesus went away to a lonely place to get himself ready. Yes, my friends, after Jesus' baptism, he went off away all by himself so that he could think and pray upon the things that he knew that God wanted him to do and the love that God wanted him to share with us. And remember, God's light shines brightly. God's water is here to cleanse us and remind us that we belong to God. Let us pray. Oh God, you call Jesus beloved. Help us to always know that we too are your beloved. Amen.